Hey guys, Sly Starcraft here bringing you another video. This is going to be a quick little match. It's going to demonstrate a Zerg exploit that is present in Patch 9. I got the idea to make a video about this from HD Starcraft. He has a movie like this on his channel, so I give credit to him for the idea in making this video. And we're doing uh, essentially the same thing. It is a six pool exploit, but what we do is we produce eggs and while these eggs are being made, new larvae will come out to replace those eggs, obviously. But in patch 9, you can cancel the eggs and turn them back into larvae, and you don't lose any money. So I put down my 6 pool once I hit 200 minerals. And right now, I have uh, 4 larvae. And watch, when I hit 100, I'm going to do it again. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to do this again and try to get up to 5 larvae to produce five, 10 lings when uh, my pool comes. So here we go. 2 eggs producing, I have 2 larvae. And once my hatchery pumps out another larva to make it three larva, I'm going to cancel these two. So watch for that larva. Uh, you can't really see it, but the hatchery did pump out another, another larva. I canceled my eggs, and now I have two larva and three eggs. So now I'm going to do it again. Make three eggs and try to get up to uh, three larva. But you'll see my spawning pool is complete, and I didn't really want to risk it, so I just canceled those all, all of them. And I'm good with uh, just ten lings right now. So I am pumping out 10 links at the speed of a 6 pool. That is just crazy. The only race that has any chance of defending it is Terran because they can do an early wall off. Sure, Protoss can wall off, but they're going to have to destroy something if they want a reasonable game. If they just hide in their base all game, they're kind of screwed. And also pylons can't be repaired, so that's another big, uh, big thing. So... Protoss and Zerg are kind of screwed in this build. Terran, he could have walled off here. It still would have been tough because three links can out DPS a supply depot being built. So it would be tough to say what a Terran would do if if a Terran would survive against this strategy. But in this case, I'm just able to walk in. This is an all-in strategy, so I'm sending in my drones as well. And I don't care about the mineral line. He just has one barracks. Let's kill this barracks and uh, just, you know don't worry about anything else. This game is basically over. I have 12 lings, I have 5 drones, and I've even got money to build another set of lings if uh, my supply count gets blown up. He's frantically trying to put two bunkers up, and I'm just gonna, you know, send my guys in on attack command. I'm not worried about this many lings, or SAVs beating this many lings and all these drones as well. But I actually told my drones to harvest the minerals, and so they would walk through and get a surround on the SAVs, so goofy little trick that I didn't really need, but he has lost the game. I'm never going to do this strategy again, it's retarded, Blizzard needs to fix it immediately, and uh, there's also a lot of flaming and disappointment on the forums about the Zerg's nerf macro mechanics, so look at the forums and check those out, I don't want to just sit here and complain, but that's it, that is the Zerg 6 pool, or I sh should say 6 pool 12 Zergling exploit, so beware of that when you are on Battle.net.